Hi, my name is Mumila Kakak, Member of Parliament for Nunavut. On July 8th, myself and my colleague Charlie Angus had a press conference where we called on the federal government to provide a special prosecutor to do independent investigations into the crimes committed against Indigenous people across the country. I started my statement by talking about Father Revoir, this man in this photo, who is still running around France, free as can be, and the Liberal government, the Canadian government has done nothing to attempt to bring him back to Canada so that those that he has provided suffering onto can see healing and justice. There are still people alive who have been sexually assaulted by this man. There have been people who have passed on who were sexually assaulted by this man who will never see justice. Inuit deserve that truth and the right to heal. This man does not deserve to run around scot-free and to have his face known more than Inuit. Because of individuals like these, we see intergenerational trauma throughout Nunavut at mass rates. We see intergenerational trauma cause things like the suicide epidemic, high rates of violence and poverty, among things like a lack of basic, of basic human rights throughout the territory. All we are asking for here is truth to lead to justice, to lead to reconciliation. This Liberal government loves to use buzzwords, keywords, and those words do not carry us to that healing. They do not even carry us through to surviving day in and day out. Indigenous people across the country, particularly Inuit in Nunavut, suffer with a lack of basic space, safe, adequate space, affordable living, and year-round clean drinking water to hydrate themselves, keep themselves clean, and their homes clean. We are not asking for special treatment. We are looking for equality. We are looking for truth. So I'm here to ask on Canadians to support this movement. Enough is enough. Indigenous peoples are tired. Inuit are tired of lacking basic human rights. This stems from a history of attempted assimilation put on to Inuit and Indigenous peoples by the Catholic Church and the federal institution throughout the past number of decades and we continue to see these horrific things continue to carry out. Like in the welfare system where 50% of those children are Indigenous and account for about 8% of our population where we see Indigenous women in the North experience violence at, in one and three, and children in Nunavut go to school, seven out of ten children go to school hungry. We see these horrific things stem from people like Father Revoir who are still out there free, never fully being held account to their actions, which included raping children, raping Inuit children. This has caused an intergenerational effect of trauma and no room for healing that we need to see. Pile that on with the lack of basic human rights and you have a recipe for disaster. I will say it over and over, we are not asking for special treatment, we are asking for equity. We are asking for opportunity to live and survive. We are asking for basic justice in spaces we have seen it unfulfilled for decades. We need the support of other Canadians and our non-Indigenous allies. I've been in the House of Commons since before being elected in 2017 calling on you. Our non-Indigenous allies, we need you because we know the federal government will not do the right thing without that support. Learn how to amplify voices without taking them over. Educate yourself through documents. Stop asking Indigenous people for their personal experience and history. Read the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and the Khitani Truth Commission. 
there are many calls to action out there. Grab one, take it and run with it and do what you can as an ally. Here's one direct one. Call on General David Lametti to ensure there can be an independent special prosecutor to look into these horrific crimes. I'm calling on the rest of Canadians, non-Indigenous peoples across the world to help amplify this message and fulfill that injustice. Matna.